This is a 1997 four star, five horse head to head. The trailer does not have a dressing room. It has access to the nose from the outside. And when we get to the inside, I'll show you the nose gates that give you access to that space. It does have a rear, what they've called a stud stall. Um, I believe the trailer is a little small in that area for a horse, maybe a pony. Um, the prior owners of the trailer used it for tack and we have set it up with a saddle rack to be used for tack as well. So it's a 1997 four star, five horse head to head. The specs are available on our website at trailercountryllc.com. I believe it's eight foot tall and seven, six or eight foot wide, um, but just double check those written specs on the website if you will. As you can see, the trailer is obviously a bit aged. Um, it had been acid washed, but the um, it could use another washing, just a, a regular wash, uh, but it's certainly improved things to get that trailer acid washed. As you can see, the stripes are just a bit cracked up over time. Those would be near impossible to take off. You could potentially put something over top of them, but that is not something we could do here at Trailer Country. It does have brand new DOT tape. The wheels have been serviced. The tires, um, when this trailer arrived here, were in excellent condition. And I'll tell you the year. They're 2019 tires. 2019 ST 235-85 R16s. Um, and they're in very, very, very good condition. No dry rot, no cracks, an excellent tread. Lots of sliding windows there, hay rack on top, escape door here on the street side, and on the curb side we have a ramp. Uh, these 50-50 rear doors in the back go to this stud stall. Um, again, I'll put the dimensions of that into the advertisement so you can see exactly what that is. may work very well for you as a stud stall, but it um, closes with this here gate, which I'll show you. So I'm looking in from the back of the trailer. We have the back set up as two horses. That is all it sets up as because the wheel wells are in this space. The front of the trailer will go to a three horse. We have it set as two right now, but it will go to a three. The, those stalls are a little narrow, narrower than normal. Um, so I would say those would need to be taller, narrower horses or ponies. Um, but again, I'll put those dimensions into the documentation for you. Looks like I've got quite a few roof vents. One, two, three, four, five that I can see from here. There's some more in the front, so tons of roof vents. No lighting or insulation in that ceiling. Um, and then this stud stall in the back shuts with this door. handed so forgive me there all right so we've got that door that goes into the front area and this stud stall in the back again we put some saddle racks in there that post is easily removable so if you wanted to use it as a stud stall that'd be no problem Oh, I've done that backwards, so I'm not going to try to take that apart. The right-hand door has to go first, then the left-hand door, but I'm obviously a little weak, so I'm not going to make you go through that. Um, okay, here is the curb side of the trailer. You've got your little flip-down treads there that gets you up to that hay rack, so you can climb up and throw your hay down. Again, those tires are 2019s. The wheels were surfaced. Um, the stripes are not in excellent condition. escape door street side. Two stalls in the back. Again, those wheel wells are in that stall, so we just have, that is only able to set up as two. Head divider. I do have the head divider for the front stalls. I don't have them up, but I do have those. That bar there on the ground goes across the side ramp. The trailer has some breast bars that are made of chain with pads here, and then it has a full width breast bar 
that can go in two different length positions here in front of the horses. Same in the back. You've got some chain breast bars and then a full width breast bar as well. You've got a gate here in the nose to access that nose space. So you can get into the nose from outside of the trailer or from here in this horse area. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight roof vents, eight roof vents in this trailer. Again, it is eight, maybe even eight, six tall. It's a super tall trailer. I'll put a tape measure on it and let you know for sure. This front stall converts down two or three stalls there. Those three would be a little narrower, obviously, and maybe narrower than today's three across. Again, it's a 1997 four star, five horse head to head. The side ramp has had some work done here. We've had that welded. Um, the rear of the trailer has had some welding done, obviously for its age. That would be typical. All of the cross members, not all of the cross members, but a good portion of the cross members here around the axle had actually been reinforced with new metal. We did not cut out what was there, but there was some, some aged cracking there from where the metal, the steel meets the aluminum, and we did have that reinforced. So the trailer really is in very good working condition. It's available at Trailer Country LLC in Carrollton, Virginia. And you can see all the specs on our website at trailercountryllc.com. Not sure if I showed you the front here that has a hydraulic jack. That's a brand new hydraulic jack. Bigfoot, so there's a battery in that box. And then that brand new Bigfoot jack. Trailercountryllc.com.